Welcome ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to graph the equation of the lips. And what I automatically notice about this equation is that it's not in standard form. I don't have the x and the y's on the same side. So when graphing the lips, that's major, the main important thing we want to have. So to do that, I'll add a y squared to both sides. And I have x squared plus y squared equals 40. The next thing I notice is it's not set equal to 1. When graphing the lips, we've got to have them set equal to 1. So I would divide by 40 on both sides. If I didn't already notice that, if I divide by 40, on both sides, my a and my b are going to be equal, meaning my vertice, the distance from my center for my vertices and covertices are going to be the same. So therefore, there is no major minor axis. They're all the same, which means I have a radius and I have a circle. So therefore, the general equation for a circle that we've discussed is x squared plus or x minus h, y minus k equals r squared. So I can leave it in this format. I just now need to identify what my h and k are as well as my r. Well. X, um, h and k, I'm not subtracting by anything, so my center, which we write as h comma k, it's just equal to 0 comma 0. My r squared is going to be equal to 40. So now to solve for r, I take the square root of both sides. r equals the square root of 40. I can rewrite as 40 times 10. I can take the square root of 4, um, which is 2 times square root of 10. Now, you can definitely just estimate this because when we're graphing, you know, especially uh, for me, I can't get it very exact with what I'm going to be showing, uh, graphing with you. And you can use a decimal approximation as well. The square root of 40 is going to be anywhere between 6 and 7 because 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49. So it's going to be a decimal between 6 and 7. All right, so now let's go ahead and graph. So we determine the center, which is at 0, 0. And then I just go through the radius, which I said was like 6 in the decimal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm just going between 6 and 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm just kind of estimating where it be. And then drawing a beautiful circle through all those points. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you uh, graph an equation when given uh, a circle equation to graph, something like that. Thanks.